Right, I'm going to do a question from the worksheet we did the other day. Um, it's question 58. And what we need to do is we need to... Okay, what do we need to do? We need to um, use these distances here to make a network and then we're going to find a minimum spanning tree. So first, what sort of pen? So we just, doesn't matter where these go, we've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Wow, that's pretty neat. Okay, now we're going to, um, we're going to join them up. So we can see from the first thing, if we look at we look here, A, B, that's, the, that's a, a line between A and B, and it's got a length of 15. Our diagram is not going to be to scale, so I'm going to go from A to B, and it's going to be 15. Fifteen. And then, so I've done that one. Next one, I've got one from A to G, which is 8. We get our A into G. And then we've got one, we've already, the A to B is already done. Oh, we've got to put eight on this one. Um, I've got one which is um, B to C, which is nine. And B to D, which is seven. And B to F. 11 and B to G which is 4 <coughs> now we've got um, C to B which is 9 we've already got that one we've got C to D which is 7 oh sorry C to D is 10 And I've done that one, that one, and I've got a D to E, which is 15, and I've got a D to F, which is 9, and a D to G, which is 13. D to G, which is 13. And we've got an E to D, which we've already got. 9, oh, 15. Yep. And an E to F, we don't have. That one is 10. And we should have that one, that one, that one. FG, 10, and FH, which is 14. Sometimes I'm getting too confusing. Um, we should have that one sorted, that one sorted, that one sorted, that one sorted, and we've got a GH, which is 12. That one's sorted, and we should have the other ones, H got two parts out of it already so we don't need those all right now I'm going to change pens and we're going to do the nearest neighbor algorithm so we can start at any vertex so let's start here at a and I'll find the smallest one that's connected there so here we go eight is the smallest one now from here I've got a 4 a 12 oh, 15 anything out of out of G or A. G is now connected, so let's do this. Four. Okay. Now, what's the smallest one? I've got a seven. Let's get my pointer. Okay. I've got a seven. I've got a nine. Eleven. Ten. A thirteen. A twelve. So obviously, I'm going to do the eleven. 
15, sorry, it's 7. Um, now, what have I got? I've got a 15, a 13. I've got a 15, ooh. A 13, a 9, an 11, another 9, but I won't, oh yeah, another 9. So 9s are my small ones, so here's a 9 there. And another 9. Let's just see who's connected. C's connected, B's connected, D's connected, F's connected. Okay. Um, so I can connect. Oh, I'm not going to connect this F and G because um, I'll make a loop. Get my pointer. I won't do that one because it's already connected up to the network. So the only one who's not connected now is the H, so I'll do this 12 here, because it's the smallest one out of those two. And now, everyone's connected up, and, oh, what about E? E needs one too, so, E does, E does need one. Okay, so everything's connected up now, and I just need to add all those up, and that'll give me the total weight of my of my network. I could redraw this if I was keen, but I don't think I will. Okay, so what have I got? I've got 12 plus 8 that one, plus 11 plus 10 plus Nine plus seven plus nine. Okay, now I've got I've got eight towns and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven roads between eight towns. If I add them up, twelve and eight is twenty, thirty-one, forty-one, fifty, fifty-seven. 66 There's my total weight. Yay. Okay, this is the Chinese postman problem and what we need to do now, we need to classify. The first thing is classify each vertice in the graph above. So Okay, so this has got 2 coming out of it. This has got 4. This one's got 3, 2, Four, 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 three. So we've got um, odds, even. So we've got the odds are A and H, and the evens are B. E, F, D, C, G. Okay, and because it's got two odd, it's traversable. And if it's got two odd, it means we start from one and we end at the other. And they tell me that it needs to start at point A, so I'm going to be starting at A. Start A and finish at the other one, H. Now, how's that path going to go? Well, let's get another pen color and do it. So, starting at A, it shouldn't matter which way I go, really. Start at A. out doesn't it? Don't know what order I went in but it's easy enough to write that down. So I went, I'll have to, I'll have to write it down this time because I didn't do it. Okay so starting at A, A, D, 
B, A, C, G, H, whatever that one was, um, D, E, F, G, I don't know, can't even read it now. C, D, F, B, E, F, H. Right, so the last bit is they want to know the quickest way to get back once you've at H. So I'll do blue. So from H, they want to know the quickest way back to A. And um, okay, how are we going to do that? So that's the that'll be the shortest path back. And we it's a small enough network that we could probably do trial and error. And so I think we'll go that way, fifty five, and. From there, back that way, 45 is pretty short, and 45 again. I think that's going to be the quickest way home. So we've got 45 and 45 and 55, so that's 90 and 55, which is 145. Is the shortest path back. 